Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom to four kiddos, soon to be five. Um, I'm just so thrilled that you're here. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Today, we're gonna talk all about history, what I'm using for history and science this year, um, and geography. It's kind of like a three-in-one video. It all kind of goes together, so. Okay, so this year for history, we're doing something a little different. We are using Around the World with Picture Books Part 2. This is from Beautiful Feet Books. Um, it's not like anything I've ever done before. It's traveling the parts of the world um, using mainly picture books, and then it has references to, like, videos for you to watch, um, and it will have little printouts in the back, which I can show you for different parts of the world that we're traveling through. So they can color and they each have their own little notebooks or paint, whatever, it has the flag for each one. Just really different, but very in very detailed um, descriptions of each of these countries. So we will be vis visiting France, Spain, Holland, Italy, Sweden, Denmark, Great Britain, Ecuador, Brazil, Peru, Chile. And then it has nature drawings and art drawings as well included, which I just showed you. So kind of, let me flip the camera around and just show you kind of what it is like. Okay, so this is the one that we just did and I am letting my kids choose which, choose which country we travel to each time. So they chose Brazil first. So this is lesson one. It'll show you where to open up your maps book. And other than the maps book and the teacher's manual, I have checked out all of the library books from the library. Um, I did not purchase any of the books to go along with this curriculum. So here's the library connection. So I just checked all these out from the library and it gives you the title and just a short like description on the book to connect it back to Brazil. Over here, this was um, some of our favorite parts of the study. These are what I was showing you in the back of the book. So I just made copies for all my kids. And as we watched um, different videos, and read different descriptions on the animals in the country. They color, colored and painted these items. Let's see, I think I have an example. Here's an example of what we did with one of them, just to give you a little idea. And then this is our favorite part. I think this is also a great way to get dad involved, is the cooking. So at the end of each chapter, there is a recipe. So you, the Brazilian cuisine, we have not made the meal, but we are about to make the cheesecake, and I'm super excited about that. So I just thought this was a fun way to include the dad of the family. Sometimes I feel like they get left out, and this is a great way to bring the family all together for this. But um, just a little more in detail to look at some of the back. So it has the art, different ones from each country. And like I said, I'm just scanning and making copies of these. And then it also has the countries and the animal study for each one. So this has just been a great option for us so far. Okay, so that's just a glimpse inside of this beautiful book. We are also using this book, Our World, to go along with it. And then, like I said, I purchased the maps book so we can just have it on hand um, to go along. Okay, and then to tie it all together, what I am doing, it does suggest notebooking in there, but for our science this year, I just wanted to give my kids a little more feeling of like independence, I guess you would say, like mom's not in control of everything, like do your math, do your language arts, this is what I want you to do today, yada, yada, yada. I mean, I wanted them to have fun. It's homeschool. Like this is one of the reasons we homeschool so that we can pick up on their interest um, and things that they like. So we are using for science Jody Maccabee's notebooking manual. And what it is and how I'm tying this in with our um, around the world in picture books is so when we get through with a country or at the end of the day, whenever we do our lesson, I have them choose an animal or something about that country and research it. And you can find her, um, it's just a little printout PDF that you can print out that gives you more description, but this is just a little brief glimpse. So for instance, they chose, this, this one chose McCall's. So he had to research McCall's and then he has to write 
super nice and neat. And if it's not neat, I make them redo it because this is considered like their handwriting for the day. They're doing research on their animal for the science part of it or whatever they choose that they've solved for the day. It could be a structure that we've talked about, anything. But then they have to go back and they have to research it. I help them type it up and then they write it. They draw it and then they outline it and then they have to go back in and fill it all in. So we will laminate these. Once I get a few of them, I'll laminate them and have them in a notebook. And that is their science for the year. We are doing unit studies um, scattered in throughout. We'll have like a fun Friday unit study on sharks or something. like. That. We're not doing the um, good and the beautiful unit studies. We're pulling from some that we already have this year. Um, but this is their, their independent learning on this and so far they've loved it these are just some sweet little examples why don't i flip it around so you can see a bit so you can see here they've just taken their sweet little time these are just beautiful and i cannot wait to see even my three-year-old does this y'all we look it up and research it together and i just think it's been such a blessing she talks in there in um, her curriculum about how letting the older kids help and how important that is to build the bonds there so a lot of my older children have helped him kind of outline some of the things um but i just love these sweet sweet little drawings okay so that kind of touch base on like our actual curriculum part and this stuff is mainly like geography i really want my kids to know the capitals and states by the end of the year even i think my littlest i think he could do it i think he would he can just memorize things and the younger they are when they start i feel like they just We'll get it better. So I'm gonna show you now just some fun resources that I have that I'll either stick in our morning basket or I'll have on the table for like morning warm-ups to keep them busy while I teach preschool and then me and the preschooler will go over them together. And these are just things that I've kind of come up with on my own and found and some I've had for a couple years. So first up, I shared this in my preschool video, but I don't know if I shared these cards. These are from the fivegirlschoolhouse.com. I love all of her stuff. Um, but these are little continent cards, and then they have the animals on the side. So I actually have them in this little sensory bin here with sand. And you can see here, and I put magnets on the back, but you don't have to. You can use Velcro or whatever you want. But I have them in sand for him to find and to match. Um, for the older kids, a lot of times while I'm reading, I will pull out some Play-Doh and have them outline this. And we have a bucket of animals and I will have them find the animals and place them on here. So it's even a way to get the older ones involved and working alongside the little ones and certain things. So for him specifically, they have these sheets, the animals in the different countries. So it doesn't have the continents on each page. And then, like I said, I have a sensory bin with all of the animals in it that I will like stand up when it's ready to use. And he'll just match them to the picture. But I just think that these are so great. And it's just a fun, fun little activity. Okay. Also from the fivegirlschoolhouse.com, she has matched the capitals to the states. And so I just have all the little states and capitals cut out here. And so she'll just go, he or she will just go and match it. And so this is another just reference in their mind, capitals and states. Okay, and then just so that where they're learning where the different states are, I have these printouts that I got from mrprintables.com. I think this is a free one. And I just printed them out and laminated them. And then these little Visa Visa pens, I just let them trace them. This one's actually traced still from last year. And as they trace them, they're, I'm sure they're reading, you know, the states and where they are. So when we look up on our big map, it just kind of helps them say, oh, oh, oh no, Texas is down here, you know, just get an idea and feel for where the states and capitals are. And then we also have very similar to that, this larger scale um, map. You can actually put this on the wall, but I just have it rolled up and they do the same thing with this. They just trace the states and go over where they are in their minds. And then we have, I'm sure y'all have seen this a million times. Let me get this little stack up here. Sorry, it just started raining and the lighting is a little I'm gonna see if I can move it up and make it brighter. There we go. Okay, so I'm sure that y'all have all seen the felt 
map that Target has like every year that has like the different landmarks that go on it. So we have this. This is just another fun resource. Like I said, I'm really focusing a lot on the states and capitals this year and the U.S. Um, I want them to have a better, you know, just understanding of what goes on in each state and where it is. This I found at the Dollar Tree. So as we do the states and we learn about them, we'll pick a different state each day. This is another fun find from the Dollar Tree or Target, I believe. I got this last year, but it just shows the state and some fun facts about it. Um, we'll color in the state as we learn about it. I thought that would be fun. Another fun resource for the United States are the Draw Right Now books. And it just gives you something from the United States to draw and then some copy work there. Okay, I also found these at Target recently. These are the new placemats that they have out. So I just got each one of the kids one of these. So as we're doing our states and capitals and learning about them, we will point to it and talk about different things. And then there's a guide on the back for each one of these. And same thing, we're working on continents. I've got the world one and it has different animals. So this will go great paired with the Five Girl Schoolhouse printables. And then I will also have this sitting out. It's just a puzzle with the continents because I really want them to learn those and where they are as well this year. Uh, most of my kids know them, but like I said, I'm not leaving my little guy out. And then I picked this up on Prime Day. It's the Mapology USA with capitals. I will flip this around and show you guys this real quick. So like I said, this is Mapology USA with capitals. It's a state-shaped puzzle pieces, and they have the capitals that will go on them, the little flags. I don't actually have this put together yet, but you can see each one of these is a puzzle piece. They're, it's a foam puzzle piece. And then let's see here if I can get... So like I said, I don't have my states, my capitals on here yet, but each one of these has a little flag. So they will find the correct flag for the state and stick it in there with the capital on it. And just anything hands-on, I feel like my children learn better with. And I thought this was a great find. They have these also for like different countries. And um, this is just a really good resource that I've used before. So that's it. That's everything that I have for history, for geography, for science for this year. I'm super excited about it. Um, if you want me to share more on like our unit studies and how I put those together, comment below. I'll be happy to do that. Um, I'm excited. I think this is going to be a fun year. They are thrilled. It is by far, by far, because we've already started this, been our favorite history and science that we've done. Like I said, I've been homeschooling this, going into my fifth formal year, but since my youngest was in preschool. So for a really long time, and this has been a fan favorite. But please like and comment and be sure to subscribe below and just let me know that you like what I'm doing. I hope you all have a great day.